Yeah, Joy, so right now we are at the Issaquah Salmon Hatchery, which is located right next to the Issaquah Creek. Some of you might remember that this area flooded about a couple of years ago, and tonight it is deja vu. Let's show you what this water is looking like right now. Very full and very fast moving, as you can see. There is a big concern tonight that this is going to flood uh, quite a bit of the area here along the Issaquah Creek. This is not what this facility likes to see, but with the help of volunteers, they are feeling prepared. The Issaquah Salmon Hatchery has been raising salmon and other fish since the 1930s. So when the Issaquah Creek nearby rises, it's not good. We have been getting prepared for this high water that's been coming for the last couple days. Hatchery supervisor Darren Combs showed us how close the creek is to the facility and two homes where workers live on site. Once it gets higher, it can start spilling the banks, start just create a, creating a mess. This home is just steps away from the fast moving water. The National Weather Service issuing a flood warning for the area and hatchery staff are on alert. We know when it reaches that level, it's going to inundate the, the grounds. It could uh, enter the residences here. I probably won't sleep well tonight. Travis Burnett is a hatchery worker who lives in the facility. His home is on higher ground, but he's not taking any chances. So we just put a bunch of sandbags here. Volunteers arriving in droves early Thursday after the friends of the Issaquah salmon hatchery put a call out for help. The volunteer effort was fantastic. We're far better prepared this year than we were the last time around. That last time around was two years ago in February when the same creek flooded the hatchery and the garage of a nearby home. This time they feel more ready. We really fortified the place really well this year. This hatchery, of course, is not the only vulnerable place in this area. We know the an apartment building is located just right next to the water as well. Roads are also expected to flood later on this evening. Now, the city of Issaquah is offering 24-7 help with sandbags. If you are interested in having some sandbags delivered to you, you can call this number on your screen right now. It is 425-837-3470. Live in Issaquah, I'm Christine Pei, King 5 News. Now is a really good time to prepare for flooding. If you live in a flood zone, you can sign up for alerts. Just text the keyword alert to 206-448-4545 and we'll send you links with specific counties.